like to do when I paint is I like to have a border around my painting because it allows me to see how my painting is coming out and it works a little bit like a mat. So I find that I like to leave my paper a little bit larger and put the border around it. When you're finished, you can either leave the border to mat it later or you can then mat right up to the border and you've got some extra paper around to use for your matting and framing. So I use it for a couple reasons. I've already done three sides of this, but I'm using the two inch artist tape today by Cheap Joe's. They also have a one inch and I believe a three quarter inch. I like the wider mat because it gives me a little bit more space around my painting. And I uh, put it on just in the drawing process before I start. One of the things I like particularly well about it is that it is white. Uh, I have used some of the blue tape that you get from the big box stores or whatever, but that really affects your color as you went to go to put your paint on your painting. So the fact that it's white and it's nice and heavy and thick, and the paint for me, I do a lot of pouring and a lot of scumbling, and the paint does not go under the tape so I get a nice clean edge when I'm finished. So this is um, just the way I start with all four of my edges with a piece of tape around them. Sometimes if I'm going to do a lot of layers I might put two or three pieces of tape a little bit in to give me a little bit more structure. It also makes your paper a little heavier. I recommend 140 pound paper for painting although I'm going to be using 300 today for the demo but it makes a 140 pound paper a little stronger and gives it a little bit more flux uh, when you're working with the painting.